So uh, first, uh, I thank uh, for inviting me to this workshop and the, uh, giving me opportunity to uh, talk about my research. Uh, so my name is Katsuhiro Nawa uh, from Institute of Multidisciplinary Research for Advanced Materials, Tohoku University. Uh, today, I would like to talk about the topological triple band and edge state in the spin dimer antiferromagnet, valium 2 copper si 206 co 2 uh, First, I will introduce my collaborators. Uh, preparation and characterization of the single crystalline samples were performed by the Tanaka Group in Tokyo Institute of Technology University. Uh, Inastic neutron scattering experiments were performed by I, Takusato from Tohoku University, and the members of the Tanaka Group, and Seiko Kawamura and Kenji Nakajima uh, from Day Park. Uh, single crystalline XRD uh, diffraction experiments were also performed by the, uh, mainly by the WEXA Group in Tokyo Institute of Technology University. I also uh, thank, uh, appreciate Masashige Matsumoto and Kentaro Nomura uh, for uh, discussion, which were useful for the theoretical interpretations. Uh, so I, I've shown for today's content. First, I will introduce roughly uh, topological properties on the bosonic systems and the uh, st structure and macroscopic uh, properties of the spin dimer antiferromagnet volume two copper SI206 CO2. Uh, next, uh, I present a triple band on the volume 2 copper SI206 CO2 investigated by inelastic neutron scattering experiments. At last, I, uh, I discuss the topological character of these triple bands and its associated edge states. So, the, after the discovery of the quantum hole effects and the topological insulators, uh, the further uh, investigation on these uh, topologies are uh, performed. And this, the concepts of the edge states are not only for fermion systems, but also have been extended on the bosonic systems, such as the photonic crystals, phonons, and magnets. Uh, for example, in the uh, uh, thermal hole effect was for, first discovered on the ferromagnetic insulator lutetium 2 vtl 7 uh, with, uh, and the, its origin was, uh, it was originated, uh, explained by the DM interactions uh, which induced a complex humping amplitude. The later theoretical paper indicate that these DM interactions uh, produce non-zero berry curvature and the associated edge state, which are the key of the thermal hole effect. Note that uh, this uh, edge states are induced uh, from the excited band. So, but seeing this, uh, this Observing these edge states are usually difficult, so it is uh, necessary to review the detailed dispersion relations to discuss the associated uh, topologies so far. For example, I show the inelastic neutron scattering spectrum for this compound in here. So from this, uh, from the analysis, it is uh, presented that the DM interactions are indeed present and it magnitude are estimated at almost 20% of the nearest neighbor exchange day. The same, uh, the same kinds of the topological bosonic bands are also discussed in the ferromagnet, uh, Kagome ferromagnet and three-dimensional anti-ferromagnet, uh, which was discussed in the previous talk. So next, uh, so uh, along this line, um, not only magnons, but triplons can be useful to realize a bosonic topological insulator. Uh, magnons are, also the magnons are defined in an order magnet, triplons are defined on the dimer antiferromagnet with a single ground state. The most easiest example is the isolated dimers with spin one half. We can easily derive the ground state of this uh, ground wave function and eigenenergies leading to the singlet ground state and the triple degenerate excitations, triplons. In real compounds, in addition to the intradimer interactions, interdimer interactions, J prime, are also present. 
they induce hopping of triplons, uh, leading to a dispersion of the triplon bands, as we see in the inelastic neutron scattering experiments. As I shown here, a dimer antiferromagnet uh, shown is a very simple model, but rich physics are left behind them. The typical example is the strontium copper borate, where uh, copper atoms form a shastri sutherland lattice. In this compound, uh, the, because of the frustration between the inter-dimer interaction J prime, hopping of triplons are canceled out and the bands form a nearly degenerate dispersionless band, as shown here. However, uh, because of the interdimer DM interactions, D prime, uh, which uh, induce the complex hopping amplitudes, uh, this degeneracy is lifted and weak dispersion are, li are induced along this J. Recent theoretical uh, studies have indicated that these uh, triplon bands become topological uh, in a certain magnetic field near a spin one Dirac cone. Uh, because the D prime causes in complex hopping amplitudes, non-trivial very curvature are induced, leading to the triple hole effect in the finite field. Thermally excited uh, triplon edge states are responsible for this triplon hole effect. So today, I have presented edge states uh, can be also uh, expected in the dimer anti ferromagnet barium-2 copper Si2O6 Cl2. And uh, because of the non-trivial triplon band topology, I show the crystal structure of this compound on the left. Uh, copper and surrounding oxygen atoms, chlorine atoms for CO4 pyramid which are colored by lead. These uh, pyramids are linked by SiO4 heterohedra, which are colored by blue. A pair of CO4-CL pyramid form a rectangular plane inside the AB plane. This local structure is very similar to that of the barium copper Si206, uh, which is a very uh, familiar two-dimensional dimer antiferromagnet, uh, we can easily deduce that this CO4 pyramid forms a dimer along C direction, and these dimers form a rectangular lattice inside the AB plane. The space group of this compound is CMC21. The previous report uh, indicated the space group of CMCE about the further single crystalline XRD experiment revealed the loss of the A glide leading to the lowering of the symmetry. Under this symmetry, all dimers become equivalent and also all layers are equivalent. While the low temperature structure uh, of barium copper Si206 includes three different layers of the dimers. The detail of the exchange interactions will be discussed later. So here I show the magnetic susceptibility, uh, heat capacity divided by temperature, and MH curve of this compound. The magnetic, uh, magnetic susceptibility shows a broad maximum at 20 Kelvin, and it exponentially reduced as the temperature is reduced, reduced indicating the singlet ground state. Also, uh, heat capacity divided by temperature exhibits a short key anomaly around that 10 Kelvin. And it also indicates this, also supports this picture. Both temperature dependence does not show any uh, signature of the magnetic order down to low temperature. MH curve uh, here uh, from this magnetization nearly uh, linearly increases above 14 tesla, indicating the both Einstein condensation of triplons. By comparing this image curve with that calculated from the exact diagonalization, uh, intradimer interactions are estimated at 2.42 millihectavolt, while the parallel and diagonal interdimer interactions are given by 0 0.03 and 0 0.34 millihectavolt. Since the MH curve uh, coincides well with that 
uh, from the exact diagonalization, uh, which assumes the two-dimensional structure, interlayer interactions should be very weak. Uh, because of this, quasi two-dimensional triple on both Einstein condensation uh, are expected. Elastic neutron scattering experiments were originally performed uh, to <coughs> confirm these uh, expectations experimentally. So next, uh, I will show the triple band splitting, splitting uh, found by the inelastic neutron scattering experiment. Uh, inelastic neutron scattering experiments were performed uh, uh, at the JPARC using the coal neutron disk chopper spectrometer, AMATRAS. In this uh, spectrometer, uh, this is uh, the best spectrometer for the investigating low energy excitations such as magnetic excitations, especially for uh, below 20 milli hecton volt. By rotating uh, disk choppers uh, for pulse shaping and monochromating, high resolution uh, down to the 1% uh, uh, of the instant neutron energy uh, can be achieved as by the these disk choppers. So I list the detail of the experiments here. Single crystalline example, uh, single crystalline samples were grown by a self flux method using a cold tube as a SiO2 source. And by this procedure, uh, the blue plate-like single crystals with a size of the five millimeter to one centimeter uh, for one edge can be obtained. Uh, 20 pieces, uh, among them, 20 pieces, uh, totally two grams, were collined on a rectangular alumina plate so that the A star and B star axis coincide with the edge of the alumina plate. Uh, and then this alumina plate uh, were set vertically so that the A star and C star, or B star and C star, uh, coincides with the scattering plane. Note that the A star and B star axis cannot be distinguished uh, because of the crystallographic domains, unfortunately, included in, the, in each crystal. However, uh, I stress that this does not affect the analysis since the A axis length and B axis length is almost the same. Uh, since a lot of crystals are co-aligned on the alumina plate, uh, there are a few degrees of mosaicity. The main data uh, for the new elastic neutron scanning spectrum are measured uh, with an instant neutron beam of the 5.92 millihecton volt uh, with an energy resolution of almost 3% at the elastic line. A neutron beam uh, was inserted all along the C star direction and the sample are uh, rotated for almost 90 degrees around this direction. The sample is cooled down to 0 0.3 Kelvin using Hermes refrigerator, and the, all the data was analyzed by the, using the software site, SEMI. So I show the uh, elastic neutron scanning spectrum sliced along the two-dimensional plate here. So the, so the left four figures are the sliced intensities along for, at the position K equals to zero, minus one half and minus one. Uh, because of the crystal, crystal graphic domains, note that the uh, intensity is sliced at the H equals to zero, minus one half and minus one are also present in these figures. Uh, from uh, this uh, situation, the two dispersive branches between two and three millihecton volt uh, can, is from the, uh, the same triton band, basically. So the one is along the indicates the band along dispersion along the H direction, and the other is uh, the one along the K direction. The triplon band exhibits a minimum energy at even integers, indicating that the hopping of the triplons are in phase. In other words, diagonal uh, in interdimer interactions are stronger than the parallel interdimer interactions leading to the ferromagnetic coupling of triplons. 
What is not easily expected was the spec split of the band, which is observed at 2.6 millihecton volt, which is wave vector independent. I stress that this is not from the extrinsic effect, since this uh, gap is reproduced even if the instant neutral energy is changed. So to see the detail, uh, we, uh, I sliced the, this so the intensity as a function of energy is plotted in right figure by slicing uh, the, this counter map along the energy direction with a particular wave vector. So at the small h or k, uh, two peaks overlap to each other. Uh, as the uh, h or k is increased, they split into two. Above 0 0.80 reciprocal acid units, the right peak uh, at 2.5 millihecton volt disappears. Alternatively, the new peak appears above 0 0.72, uh, 0 0.72 reciprocal acid units at almost at the 2.7 millihecton volt. So here, uh, next, I will show the counter maps and the intensity sliced along the C direction. From the above figure, we can easily see that the triple band is dispersionless along C star direction, indicating the negligible interlayer interactions. Uh, from the bottom figure, on the other hand, we can see that the intensity is oscillated, modulated along the C star direction. This kind of intensity oscillation is frequently observed in a spin dimer antiferromagnet, indicating the dimer formation along C, star, C direction in this compound. Uh, usually, uh, this kind of uh, the oscillation is characterized by the dimer structure factor as uh, shown by this equation. So here, FQ is the form factor of copper two plus, and the D is a wave vector. Uh, D is a vector uh, connecting two spins, uh, which forming, that, forming a dimer. In fact, this equation well explains the modulation of the intensity very well. The fit is the uh, D vector of 0.15 of the C axis length, which is consistent with the, that, ex, ex, that expected from the single crystalline XRD diffraction experiment. So, I will explain the why does this triple band split. I present this model as a starting point. So, there is a eight dimers in a unit cell. Uh, two are from two subvertices inside of a uh, plane, and two are from the translation symmetry, and two are due to the two layers inside a unit cell. Among them, I will discuss about the uh, first uh, two freedoms since the four bands induced by these symmetries are always degenerate. As I have uh, mentioned before, uh, these dimers form a nearly rectangular lattice. Under the space group of CMC21, a small bond alternation is allowed, so in fact, the different sublattices are induced inside the plane, as here. So the Hamiltonian is uh, written uh, here. So in addition to the intradimer interactions, J, uh, J, there are four times, three times of interdimer interactions, totally 12. To obtain the uh, analytic form of the dispersion relation, uh, the previous Hamiltonian can, uh, should be reduced to the effective Hamiltonian of triplons by applying bond operator approach. By projecting to a triple language, uh, according to the definition of the singlet and triple states, the, uh, the effective Hamiltonian can be described as the hopping, uh, ha interacting hardcore bosons of, with the hopping amplitudes of JA, JA prime, and JB. The allowed hopping is uh, illustrated here. Uh, hopping amplitude uh, is the difference, corresponds to a difference between the parallel and diagonal in interdimer interactions. After this procedure, uh, after Fourier transformation, 
The K-dependent form of the Hamiltonian can be obtained at the quadratic form of the creation and the annihilation operators as shown here. It includes the four time soul matrix, uh, including the intradimer interaction J and the lambda K, which corresponds to a Fourier sum of the hopping amplitude. Note that the triple band are uh, triply degenerate uh, because the, since the rotation symmetry of the Hamiltonian is preserved. I will only uh, count this band as a single band in the following discussion to avoid the confusion. So dispersionization can be obtained by diagonalizing this four times four matrix, but uh, we have to be careful that the, uh, this is written in the, in the of the genus form of bosons, so we have to multiply this term before this matrix. Well, after this procedure, this uh, dispersion relation can be obtained as this easy form. So let's compare this dispersion relation with the band we observe in the experiments. So first, I present the parameter sets and the expected spectrum under the allowed under the space group of CMCE. Uh, so there are two, because of the two sublattices, uh, two modes should be present. Here, uh, red and blue curves correspond to the dispersion along H and K direction. The six solid and thin dash curves correspond to the uh, mode which have the large and small intensities uh, respectively. Under the space group of CMCE, uh, J A and J A prime should be uh, equal, <coughs> indicating that two sublattices become uh, magnetically equivalent. In other words, the uh, model can be reduced to a simple rectangular lattice. Uh, from this uh, reason, the structure factor of the one band becomes nearly zero, while the other band uh, has the large structure factor. So, this, uh, even with this model, uh, in fact, uh, a triple band exhibits the minimum energy at the even integers, which is C, also C in here. So this rough model even well ex roughly explains the whole spectrum, except for the band gap observed at 2.6 millihectron volt. To explain this, a bond alternation along the A axis should be introduced. So here I present the uh, parameter sets allowed under the space group of CMC21, which best reproduce the experimental results. So under the space group of CMC21, it is possible to increase the magnitude of the JA A, and the decrease that of JA prime. So by uh, the, this bond alternation, the upper and lower band, uh, band inversion between these are induced, leading to the wave vector independent gap at 2.6 millihectron volt. And if this bond alternation is small, structure factor becomes almost the same as the those of the previous model at the same uh, E and Q range. At, as a result, uh, the band gap can be uh, induced at 2.6 millihectron as shown here. So, as an, uh, ne next, I will discuss the topological properties of this uh, triple band and indicate that the triple protected triple edge state, topologically protected triple edge states are in, expected in this model. So uh, first, uh, I will neglect the pair creation and pair annihilation terms and think only <coughs> a reduced metric first. So by block diagonalization, it can be reduced to the, this simple two times geometric. So before discussing the uh, topology of this compound, I will uh, first introduce this uh, Sue schrieffer heger model, SSH model, which is highly related with the uh, topology of the previous model. So the SSH model uh, describes a hopping of an electron on a chain, 
which corres uh, which, uh, such as the electron motions on polyacetylene. The key is the hopping amplitudes are alternated because of, uh, and the two sub lattices are induced along the chain. The Hamiltonian of the SSH model is simply written here, and it can be also, uh, it becomes an inner product of the uh, D, a shoot magnetic field D, and should spin one half sigma. Uh, D is a real vector consisting, uh, consists of the real part and imaginary part of the uh, Fourier sum of the hopping amplitude, lambda k, and sigma is a parametric. So SSH model simply describes a dimmer term uh, of this shoot spin one half under this shoot magnetic field D. Thus, the eigenenergy of this uh, model uh, gives the plus minus the magnitude of lambda k, uh, indicating the two bands with an energy gap between them. So next, uh, I will show the relation between this x and y component of this d vector in the SSH model with different hopping amplitudes. So this the, since D can be written in this easy form, it just describes a single circle in a dx dy plane. Uh, for starting from the case where W is small, the single circle do not enclose its origin. However, by in, as increasing W, uh, it passes through the origin when W becomes B, and it, <coughs> it encloses the origin when W exceeds D. So this left and by in, and next and in, by increasing the wave vector or k uh, by two pi, this the phase part of d is increased by two pi for the, this right case, but uh, it does not change for this left case. For this reason, both left and right cases, uh, the phase is gap phase. However, this can be distinguished by the number uh, encloses the origin, which is the winding number in this case. Under this definition, uh, the winding number becomes zero for this left case, uh, while it becomes one for the right case. When V is larger than W, oh, oh here I show the schematic picture in a real space of bound electrons. Uh, when w, uh, V is larger than W, uh, all spin, all uh, electrons form a dimer pair, while the, the when V is larger than, uh, sorry, W is larger than V, edge electrons are left without forming a pair, leading to the zero energy edge states. Note that the Z component of D is fixed to zero. Uh, this indicates that the winding number cannot be changed without the closing the gap and in this sense, these edge electron states are topologically protected. Uh, next, I show the couple SSH model uh, where two SSH chains are coupled with opposite alternating sequence. So we can think the, in the same way. Uh, D is, uh, uh, but here D can be described as a single ellipsis in a DX dy plane, and it leads to the non, two non-trivial gap phase. So when W is larger than V, this uh, ellipsis encloses the origin uh, clockwise, and as the V is increased, this, uh, this ellipsis is compressed along the Y direction and becomes a fragment when V corresponds to W. And if uh, V exceeds the W, uh, it becomes an ellipsis again, uh, but this time in, it encloses the origin uh, counterclockwise. The schematic view in the real space uh, is uh, shown illustrated here. So uh, from this figure, we can easily understand that the edge uh, states are present in both cases, but its distribution are reversed between two sub, two sub lattices when the winding number is reversed. So but in, from this analogy, volume to copper SI206 CL2 can be regarded as a coupled SSH model uh, where the infinite number of chains are coupled along B direction. 
So the Hamiltonian, which I mentioned before, is written here as here. So it uh, in, also uh, can be described as the inner product of the D and sigma. However, there are few differences. First, uh, there is not only non-diagonal part, but the diagonal part are also present. So this shifts uh, energy, and from this reason, edge states, uh, edge modes do not appear at zero energy, but appear at the energy J. Second, uh, lambda k, a Fourier sum of the hopping amplitudes, includes two variables, uh, kx and ky. To see the difference from the previous SSH model, I illustrated the relation between dx and dy uh, according to this definition. So the, when ky is fixed and kx is varied, uh, it uh, describes the ellipsis as in the previous coupled SSH model. However, when kx is uh, fixed and ky is varied, it's just uh, leads to the shift along dx, and it just leads to the fragment. Uh, from this uh, rough uh, consideration, uh, we can see that the d uh, acts as an aggregate of ellipses, and by fixing ky, it can be reduced to a single ellipsis. This reduction enables to defining the winding number even in this case. So uh, note that the, in this model, the winding number uh, is always the same for uh, all ky, uh, whatever ky we select. And since the jv is uh, smaller than the average of the ja and ja prime, indicating that the, this can be regarded as quantity di one dimensional extension of the SSH model. So I restricted the relation of the dx and dy in this model, and the corresponding the corresponding bound uh, triplons in a real space. From these pictures, we can easily understand that the, this volume to couple SI two o six o six can be regarded as a coupled SSH model with fixed ky. So the the key is the alternation of the hopping amplitudes along a direction, uh, which induces two sublattices and non-trivial topology of the tripion bands. Uh, note that the z component of d is always uh, fixed to zero, and thus the edge states are topologically protected, as we discussed in the SSH model. And uh, note that also note that these edge states are thermally excited states uh, since the because of the in, intradimer interaction J, uh, which appears as a, a diagonal term in the Hamiltonian. So at last, I will show that the, these edge states are even stable even if the pair creation and pair annihilation terms are included. We can also derive it analytically, but I will just show the uh, results of the uh, calculating energy spectrum because it, it's much more easier to see. Uh, so uh, from the previous discussion, uh, it can be easily uh, deduced that the edge states only appear on the edge of A uh, while it doesn't ap appear on the B direction. So uh, we define the creation as adhesion operators uh, which are fully transformed only along the B direction, but not along the A direction. So by this uh, definition, we can constitute a uh, Bogoliugos degenerate Hamiltonian, including 4NA times 4NA uh, components. Here, NA is the uh, number of the unit cell along the A axis. Here, I show the uh, schematic uh, view of this model uh, under the open boundary conditions and the calculated spectrum uh, from this model. And the right uh, figures correspond to those under the periodic boundary conditions. So we can easily see that the, there is no uh, hopping between uh, term site one and site NA on the left, but it is present in the right case because of the periodic boundary conditions. So by uh, calculate by diagonalizing this matrix uh, for each ky, 
and plot as the eigenenergies as a function of ky, we can uh, obtain the energy spectrum as shown here. Uh, by comparing this spectrum, uh, we can easily see that the bulk band structures are this exactly the same, but there are two four degenerate edge states at the energy j. So from even from these calculations, we can see that the these edge states are stable uh, even under the uh, pair creation and pair annihilation uh, terms. So uh, I will, in summary, uh, we investigate the in a uh, neutron scanner spectrum of the spin dimer anti ferromagnet volume to copper SI206 Cl2. Spin excitation spectrum on this compound exhibits two triple bands uh, with a spin small gap uh, because of the alternation of the inter-dimer inter interactions. The triple band topology, so as we have discussed, this is the same as the coupled SSH model with fixed KY, uh, indicating the presence of topologically protected edge states. At last, uh, I will also introduce the uh, recently found pyrochlor antifire magnet, since the, so a lot of uh, frustrated magnets are also uh, discussed in this uh, workshop. So this compound, sodium-3 manganese uh, carbonate chlorine uh, chloride, uh, in, are characterized by the uh, T mangan O6 uh, octahedra connected by carbonated ions. The interesting point of this compound is that the short ranger order develops uh, be below the wise temperature of roughly 40 Kelvin, uh, but the signature of the long range order is not found at the 0.05 Kelvin according to the neutral powder diffraction experiment. So we, I stress that the, uh, no disorder has been dis, uh, found in the single crystalline excited diffraction experiment, and, but we, still we don't know the reason why the magnetic range, range order is observed. So we are planning for the further uh, microscopic experiments. Thank you. Questions for the speaker, please. Yeah, so can you go back to your slide where you showed that uh, with uh, there is a gap phase and there is, yeah. So there is a gap phase and yeah, the, this one. Okay. So like you started from the left. Yes. With some singlet state. No, uh, the huh? the gap and gapless thing, the phase diagram. Phase diagram. So this, uh, 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 this is phase diagram by changing the hopping amplitude. No, what is. <clears throat> You can go go back a few slides, yeah. Again, yeah, this one. So, like, you started from the from the gap phase with some singlet phase, and then you allowed for trip, triplon fluctuations. Sorry. So you started from the left and allowed for triplon fluctuations. You you had a singlet state there. Uh, so, uh, uh, so this is for the erection systems. Yeah. And the. Uh, there is a gap, so the Fermi level is, so there is a two uh, uh, band uh, for, because there are two uh, sites, and the Fermi level is inside them, and in this sense, the gap, it, two bands are gap. Okay, it's not triplon gap. This is not for triplon, but, but I extended this to the triplon picture in our compound. Okay. Uh, if not, uh, let's thank the speaker again, both the speakers. So this concludes the first session and we'll reconvene after tea. Thank you.